Yo, hello everyone. Do you want to provide FedEx shipping options on your WooCommerce store? In this video, I will show you how to add the FedEx shipping method to your WooCommerce setup from installing the FedEx plugin into much more details in the configuration system. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. Now right after you open your WordPress or WooCommerce store, make sure to head up to the dashboard. Right after that, I want you to go here to the plugin section and then click on add new. From here guys, you have two options. If you bought the plugin, which is FedEx plugin on the WooCommerce officer website, you have to click here on upload plugin. And I will show you real quick, open a new tab, search for FedEx WooCommerce plugin. And here it is, FedEx shipping method. And here we go. So now all you have to do next is simply buy it through WooCommerce for $8.25 per month or for an annual plan, which is $100. Right after you, do, you buy it, they will give you a zip file, which is going to be the file that will help you add the FedEx shipping method to your WooCommerce store. Now, after you are done with that, click here to the file and upload it. Or else, you can just click here into the search menu bar, search for FedEx, and now all you have to do is wait a little bit, and it will load the plugin over here. As you may see, this is shipping live rate for FedEx for WooCommerce. So this is, and this one are the plugins that you might need for the FedEx. So what you're going to do is simply click here and install now. And just so you know, this plugin that you can find on, Wooco on the WooCommerce or WordPress store is not really free. It's true, you can install it, but later on, they will ask you to buy it. So both of these are actually uh, like paid plugins you can't really get them for free unless you uh, like you have a subscription or something like that or like uh, they sponsoring you or something like that but you might find even like the plugin cracked but i don't really recommend it because you might have so much glitches in the future now as you have to see here it is um felix life rates it has been activated and added to my uh, shipping store now all you have to do is go to WooCommerce. So here we go. If you click on WooCommerce, you'll find here shipping extensions. Click on it and here you go. So now you have the plugin installed, but you still have to buy it as I said. So here you have the UPS Live, uh, Live Rate and Access Point Pro. Here you have Flexible uh, Shipping Pro. And here what you are looking for in this video, which is FedEx WooCommerce live rights pro in case you like to add it click here buy plugin and then they will take you to another website here all you have to do you can even launch the demo to check how it's gonna work so as you go check how our plugin work live and join more than 200k happy customers you can just enter here your email i confirm i have entered a valid email address and create demo with this, they will give you like a demo trial to see how does it work and is it really helpful for your own uh, website. Now, as you can see, they have given us a customized uh, WordPress or WooCommerce shop. Here you go, as you can see here, dashboard, WooCommerce and shipping extension. Here, as you might notice, we have everything in here. We have uh, all the plugins here that they have in their like as a product but let's go here now ready to buy our plugins so here we can start using their demo so basically to activate plugins is simply by going here and choose which kind of plugin you'd like to really use so in our case we'd like to use this FedEx Live Rates Pro now all you have to do is go to settings from the settings section you have simply to fill the informations with your FedEx account number FedEx meter number and much more so all of these options has to be fixed. Let's start with the first one. Here we go. Now, as you might notice, this is like the account that they give us for our demo account. So you will not be able, of course, to see it because it is a demo account. You're not, it's not really your own credentials. Uh, 
Here, the API connection status is okay, which is good for us. In your case, when you go to your uh, real store, you will have it empty. So you don't have the okay here. You will have to re-enter the API key, which you'll get after you buy the plugin. So don't worry about that. Here, shipping method type. Here, you have to choose either standard shipping method or a global shipping method. So, standard shipping method, if you want to add the FedEx live rate shipping method within specific shipping zones or choose the global shipping method to enable the FedEx live rate for all the shipping zones in your store at once. So, if you'd like to go with standard, you're only going to choose, for example, specified regions to ship to. If you choose the global, you will have all the reasons. Here the method title, so here once the people are going to choose which kind of shipping they'd like to use on your website, this is what it will be like. It's going to show FedEx. You can change it to whatever you'd like. Here, if you'd like to add any custom services, you can add it here. And here you can add some kind of custom services as for the ground, for the Express Saver. So all of these, you can use them as long as you bought your own uh, subscription with them. And before we continue with these settings, make sure guys that you know once the customer has ordered something and choose the shipping method, they will charge them for, for example, an amount of money, which is, for example, $10. Before you receive that money and you send the product, you have to pay $10 from your own pocket to FedEx so they can deliver. You'll get the money back eventually once the, uh, the customer will pay you. So, for example, if the customer chose to pay you by cash or cash on delivery, you will have to pay first the FedEx uh, company to ship that product, and then you will get receive you will receive your money back once the customer pays you. So this is how it works. You really have every time once you get an order by FedEx or any other shipping shipping company, you have to pay them first, and then you will have the money received by the customer to cover your loss. Here, let's continue with rate adjustment. Here, the rates you can add the list rates or account rates. Here, you can add an answer if you'd like to add answers to be included in FedEx rates. So, if, for example, if the product was in a bad quality or shape, you can actually get answers to get the money back to that person without you losing money. But of course, that will add much more cost on every shipping you do. So make sure to be to put that in consideration. Here, the destination address type. If we'd like it to be business or residential, the handling fees. If you'd like to add any fees, you can add here the amount of fees that you'd like to add, or a percentage of the money that the customer is going to pay. Finally, here you find parcel parking method. So pack into one box by weight, pack into custom boxes, or pack items separately. So if you have multiple items, here you can choose how the packing method is going to be. One package per item or, or one package for all the items. So this is how you can choose. And once you're done, just make sure to click on save changes. Just make sure the measurement units are on kilogram or LBS, depends on your country. And that's it. So yeah, guys, that's how you can add the FedEx shipping method to your WooCommerce store. I hope you learned something from this video. And see you guys in the next tutorial.